Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I was still making up some leftover paint and I have a, a, a cleaned canvas. I poured on once and didn't like it so it's been sitting there in my closet for quite a while. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use it. Uh, it's a 12 by 12 and I'm using leftovers from my little condiments, you know. So I took a burnt sienna and I kind of added a few of my reds. There was a little tiny canister of red. Made it, I think, just a little bit more of the uh, darker red looking with that. That's all it was, it was just a little bit extra. And then, <laughs> This is my black, which is a mixture of some Payne's gray and some other blacks that were in my cupboard. <laughs> so I don't know if it's Mars and I, uh, I have not real sure. Um, it's a little bit runny too, so I'm gonna have to really go light on that. This is Chiffon Yellow. I've had that one in this area. Just a little bit in there, so. And then I have a little bit of this Midnight Garden, which I really do love that color. It's pretty. So we'll see what happens with this one. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying all these different colors. Being a little daring. So just a little bit of this. I think there was like a bright color in that black too. Almost sure there was. Well, quite a bit of that because that's going to be my primary color. And then I'll go with the House of Green and the Chiffon Yellow and a Hauser. Garden green. So we'll see. <laughs> you never know, it might be very beautiful. And may not get cells either because they're different consistencies. I do know that. Did I put this one next to it? No, I put the green. I think. Oh, well, I'll just go for it. Use them up. <laughs> it's pretty together though. I think this yellow is a matte, so that might sell up. No, it's not a matte. Which one was? This one was the Midnight Garden, so one of them might. Well, we'll see. Hopefully we have enough here. Maybe not. Let's make sure we get every inch in there. Yeah, it's gone. Well, should be enough. A little more of that in there. might turn to mud too those colors yeah. <laughs> not enough paint I can tell you that right now but I will stretch it it's too bad because I can tell it's going to give us some good cells. So I tried to add a little bit of something, maybe. Those pretty colors are pretty together. See, I wish I had more of that. Garden green, I love. And that burnt sienna mix is pretty because I added just a little bit of red in there. Yellow's pretty too. This is pretty. Oh man, I hope I can't, don't have to stretch this. 
I'm gonna have to catch every little bit of this paint. <laughs> I don't know, is it just me, but I think it's pretty. <laughs> so, let's start with over here, I suppose. Pretty. I hate catching paint because then it always leaves that mark. But we can always get that. I think we'll be all right with the paint. Not much of that black showed up because it wasn't so black black. It was a, a mixture of very light blacks. I don't know what it was to be honest with you, but. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> That's something. I never work with these kind of colors, do I? <laughs> it's pretty though. <laughs> I like it. I think it's pretty. Definitely gonna sell up. That's such a pretty green. Oh, it's kind of neat, man. I kind of like it. So, I think I'm just gonna go down at this end here. And that's all. Whoopsie. That's prettier. That's so neat. In a way. I feel like I need to get rid of that little hump. There we go. Hey, that's pretty now. There we go. That's neat. I like these colors together. I think they're neat. Okay. So sell it up a little bit in here. Let's see if we can get some more there. This is neat. I like it. It's different. Different colors than I ever use, huh? Well, I'm gonna start doing some different stuff. This is cool up in here. Very cool. Anyway, then I did look on the back of this chiffon and this does say matte right there. See, matte. So that's why that sold up too because anytime you use matte, you're gonna get some cells. So both of these were uh, definitely matte. Deco art, folk art. All right, well, let me uh, hold it up, and that's it. I did fix this corner. That's what I paused it for for a minute, just to get rid of that red right in one corner. I think it's pretty neat.
whatever it is, but this is so pretty in there. Oh, I like it. I do like the uh, movement in this. It's pretty neat down there. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Got that little vein, the red going through there. Or that bird sienna. <laughs> so there you go. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you're doing good and taking it easy, having a great week ahead of you. And, um, you know, staying happy. That's what's important. So let me know what you think. I know these are very different than what I usually use. I hardly ever use yellow, huh? Anybody who knows me, I'm always the purple, blues, and I stick with the same colors all the time. But I think I'm going to start experimenting outside my box a little bit. But I do love this. I like it. All right, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.